No intonation by the priest. We go from one to the other. Okay? So what I normally do is I will announce, you know, if it's if, if it's a if it's a holiday service, you have your books, and there it says, you know, Slavri Nina on Stichol. If it's a regular service, I'll tell you, singers, which gloss we're doing. And I'll tell you which Nina Pushtarith you were doing after that. So before we get there, you need to, to mark each one so that you can go from one to the other. Okay. There's also a nuance here. Okay. Yes, we need to do this, choir singers. We need to go from the end of one thing to the beginning of the other fairly quickly in situations like this with the Red Star. The contrapositive is that where there is no star, there is no need to go quickly from what you just sung to the next thing because there's time. And that's the reason why I ask you when we're singing something, sing it to the end without using the music yet. Sing it to the end properly, end it, and then while there's an intonation or a prayer or something else, then play with the voice. <coughs> okay, Utrinya. So this is the overall structure. Again, each one of these tabs is, uh, is something that you've seen in the book, choir singers. Okay. This is the beginning of the New Testament. Think of the words, The Lord has arrived to us. How did he do that? He did that through his birth. So this is again the idea of the New Testament starting. And, and the first part of it is Bogus Wood. Now, it says in our tabs, Bogus Wood i Vaskriesne Trapari. In reality, if it's a holiday, if it's not a Saturday, Sunday, then there will be holiday Trapari instead of the ones that, that, that we would sing. All of that is, is published in our Trapari conduct sheets, which I'll get to in a minute. Then you have sections, the Rikat Babylonski here and Pakayania here. Those are, are, are designed to, to make it easy during the Niki course to sing with, with one book. But Narikat Milonsky is, is only uh, sung from the, from the uh, week of Udo Asena, Mesopusne, Sirapusne, and Pakayanya is always from Mitria Perisea up until the Sunday preceding uh, the, the Lord's entry into, into Jerusalem. So, uh, Bogus uh, is, is is the uh, is the welcoming, if you will, of the Lord coming in in flesh to the world. Kathisme that that follow them uh, are, are are really uh, generally oriented about uh, contemplation of, of our of our sinful nature and, and the improvement thereof. So. The, the, the structure of Bogus Boys, I'll go through in a minute. Uh, af, after, uh, after, the, the, after we finish Bogus Boys, we go directly into, into Kathism. Palele, which in some churches is sung every Sunday, irrespective of whether it's in, in, in the Tibikon or not. We don't do that, we follow the Tibikon and then sing it when it's called for. That is the uh, the 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 proclamation the, uh, the, the, the proclamation and, and gratitude for, for the mercy of the Lord that that, that he did by by his uh, death and resurrection for, for our salvation. The uh, which again we don't sing uh, ordinarily under the Vidiki post is a reflection of you know, when, when the, when the uh, Hebrew people were in captivity in Babylon. Part of that was because they strayed away from the Lord. And so many of them uh, who you know, lamented the fact, oh gee, why didn't we do these stupid things and we set ourselves away from the Lord and we had idols and so forth, and now we lament that situation. So this is a Bilikoposni style thing. That is a set of, of texts uh, that are very happy in nature, really. It talks about the, the events just after the, the resurrection of Christ. And again, uh, the, 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 the nature of Utrinya, okay? New Testament, 
salvation, resurrection, and, and, salvation, and, and, and salvation of the people. Воскресение Христов. Видите, again, uh, very, uh, a very happy uh, uh, thing that we sing in, 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 uh, in commemoration of the, uh, of, of the resurrection of Christ. The, 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 so that was sort of the first part uh, of, of Utrinia, and that's not for, that's simply what, what fit on the page. The, the, the next part of it is Vaskresni Irmasi, we'll talk about Irmasi uh, in, in detail in the Nietzsche Dusama Gospel. Something that's not in our books is a section on Svitsilia. And, uh, uh, and that's simply because uh, it's been common practice at least for the last last decade or so, to sing Sviatus with Bognar in, in a relatively simple manner. But the point is that before Tsaka Dikhanya and after the after we finish Kanon, there is a point where the priest then talks, Sviatus with Bognar, and we repeat, and he says it again, and we repeat, and so forth. But that's not in your book, it's just something that we sing more or less by, by memory. Then, uh, Всякое дыхание ends with приблагословенные си богородицы. Again, that's just a section with, with you know, music for each of the tones. Then великое словословие, тропари воскресные, and grandly воеводицы. So we talked about that a little bit. Величие душа моя Господа is, is, a, is a, a song of adoration by the mother of God to, uh, the, to the Lord. Sacred Dichania, as we'll see, uh, has the same format as we had in the beginning for Gospodje Vazvah, except that, it, remember we talked about the stihi, how each one of them sort of had a, uh, a, a penitential aspect to it. Here it's directly different. These are kholebne, kholitsevog. Now, now we're, we're, we're past the early part, and now we're, we've gone beyond the, the, the resurrection. We're now praising. So I think in, in some cases these are called praises. Delika Slavoslovia has its own section with a bunch of different arrangements in it by different composers. And so Delika Slavoslovia is, is, is a, 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 a prayer of gratitude. And when we get to the part of the Svet Sipusin Svet, that, that has a, a, a dual meaning to it. In the old days, and, and to, to this day, like on the form, uh, these services, when they're done completely, okay, uh, will actually wind up ending in the morning. So by the time you get to this point in Utrinya on the form, you actually are at sunrise. So when the priest says, Slava Tzibiya Pukazavsu Vunam Svet, He's talking about two things. One is the sun that's coming up, but the other, the symbolic, is uh, glory to, to, to you for, for, the, for the light. The light in this context is talking about the light of truth that, that God brought to it. So that, that's, the, that's the dual meaning of siyat. Okay. And, and then the, the, there's a therapy the, the, on, on the, the services that, that occur on Saturday and Sundays, of a skresne. In the case of a service uh, for a saint, like for example for, for Vladimir tomorrow night, what you'll have is after Slavoslovia, you'll have to turn in your text back to the Trapai for Vladimir and sing it. Okay? Because that's the structure. After Slovoslovia is the Trapai of the commemoration. In our books, typically we're commemorating Saturday and Sunday. When we're off in a, in a different case, it will be the commemoration specific. And of course, Zdranli Vojevodze is, uh, is, is part of actually first, uh, the first hour, Pierre Chasa. It's not actually a part of Putin yet, per se. And it's a it's a it's a hymn to the Mother of God as being the the leader of of, of all those who are victorious against all sorts of evil. Okay, so let's talk a little bit. Uh, now I understand why I have this. 
when we go through the chair and we hit stichir and the stichol, many times uh, we'll do, especially Saturday Sunday services, we'll do the Sunday uh, stichir for the particular class for the tone. And then there'll be readings and, and we'll have the same, uh, the same stichi. But on the Bhagavad these are these are often commemoration specific. So where do you get these? And so this is this, this is an illustration of one of the text sheets that we use every week. For those of you who are not in the choir and get my emails, these are usually attached to them. So if you want to see what the words are, you know, they're there for you to look at. It. And so one of the places where you find what is it that you need to sing in here is on the text sheet. Typically, I'll put it up on the top and I'll indicate that it's either for Inina or Slava Inina, and it'll have the text and the gloss and so forth. So that's one place where when you come to church on Saturday, choir members, come 10 or 15 minutes early and pick up that sheet and look at it because it, it provides you an awful lot of clues to what's going to go on. First, first and foremost, is it's going to tell you what the, what the, what the, the gloss is of the week. Secondly, it'll tell you pretty much in order what sorts of special things are going to happen. Okay. In this application, we have a stihira that's not one of the regular Bhagavad but is one that is that, that's commemoration specific. Okay. And it'll also tell you on uh, the, the order for liturgy on the next day. And here, it indicates which parts of, of these trafarim are going to be sung on both the sports. Okay. I have another example that, is, that illustrates it a little bit better. So on Sunday, in the trafari, we would start from the top and simply march right down through this. Okay. As it happens, in, in liturgy, one of the few sections that's really commemoration specific is the Travadi, because it has to do with the event. Now, you obviously, on Sundays, you have the Skesni Travadi, because it's, it's a Sunday. But then you have other Travadi, the one to our church. And then, typically, Travadi that commemorate the holiday, either about the saint or about something else. Okay. So, since the uh, since the, the, the Saturday and the Sunday services are that closely linked, it shouldn't be a surprise that some of the special commemorative things that we sing on Sunday are also going to be sung on Saturday. And in fact, 99 times out of 100, that's true. So these indications, this one, this one, and the, and the two up top, those are are the key to how Volga Spoit works. So when we get to Volga Spoit, okay, at the very beginning of, of, uh, of Udi, we sing Volga Spoit in whatever the glass is of the week, first, second, through eighth, okay? And then we sing the Trapai for, uh, of that glass. And we do it once or twice. Typically, it's done twice. Okay. And that's what that too stands for. Okay. Then the, 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 the general structure is trapai, trapai, slava, trapai, inini, trapai. That's the general structure of Volkis voice. So what this says is that after you've sung this trapai twice, you sing slava and the trapai of the saint, then inini, and whatever the Bhagavadija is. Okay. And, and, and I, I announced those anyway at the beginning of of, uh, of, uh, uh, of Utrinya. But if you arrive a few minutes early and look for those keys, then what I tell you, you're not going to have to panic and do something quick. You'll already know pretty much what you need to find to get your book together. So focus foot. Um, this is one of those rapid fire places. Okay. Before Boca Sports happens, ideally, when you first arrive at church, if you can make it a few minutes before the beginning, or at least during Sister Salmi, you need to look at and, and find 
what is it that we're going to be singing on Slava and what on Inenia? Okay? Slava is most often on the text sheets. Inenia is, is very often in the section of Bogorodishnina Bogosport. Okay? So for this section, to, to sing that section, what you would need is to know what Lhasa is, to look in the text sheet for what the thing is that we're going to be singing twice, to understand what is going to be sung for Slava, probably on the text sheet, and then what the Bogorodichin is going to be, typically in this section of the book. And since after we're done Bogorodichin, we go straight into Kafisma, that's one of the Red Star places. Okay. We're, we're, when we're done with Bogorodich in the book of we immediately start the piece. So you need to know which one we're going to sing, mark it for yourself, so that as soon as we're done with this, you can flip the page and, and, and be listening to the tone. Now, the way that we have been doing it, and the way that I'd like to continue to do it, is that after you've looked at the overall plan and, and you've, you've identified which, which version of the Kafisma we're going to be singing, on Boca Sports, which we interact with the priest, he has, he has a steep, we sing Boca Sports in Isa now. The first three times, there's some four total, the first three times, so that the priest can be heard and so that we can have some overlap between ourselves, we sing those relatively soft and at a pretty good clip. Okay? So you really need to watch. Okay? And notice, in Nieza Glutaya Duchavienstra, so these are, these are soft, uh, uh, simply to provide some sort of a thing from the choir to the priest, from the choir to the priest. The fourth time that we sing Bogus Sports, and this is just Bogus Sports, not Bogus Sports, but When we sing that the fourth time, we, by that time, the priest is done doing his, his tihi. So there's nobody to be quiet for. And that's why I've asked here, for there to be a crescendo for the last one of this, so that when we hit the first tarpai, we're already singing it in a, in a fairly uh, massive way. Okay, and then very important after after we sing uh, whatever the bhagavadgita is, flip to kafisma as quickly as possible and choir members get your ears on because I have very little time there to set it.